on to the second novelty act, Rami Ohuig, Gudi Kunte Tiron, Gudi Erigil Kiron. And the novelty act that they are going to perform for you is entitled An Eye for an Eye. So we'll show a clear stage, and then the next time you see the curtains open, we'll have Erigil Kiron with An Eye for an Eye. Tafalcharoa, Aguini Oishla. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the story of the Groove family, a family steeped in the GA tradition. You have Granda Pat, the father and mother, John, Joe and Brady, the daughter Maggie, and then you have the identical twin boys, Pather and Edward. Pather is a keen footballer, while Edward is a hurling man. Mommy, Mommy, Pather broke me stick. Unfortunately, work was very scarce in 2009, when Pather and Edward turned 18, and both boys headed off to the States in search of work. We pick up the story three years later as the boys decide to head home to see their family. Do you think that much work about whenever these boys get home? Move your feet there, Granda! Do you know it was a sad day the day John Joe took a heifer like you into this house? I'll have you know, I was at the doctor the other day and he told me I had legs of a 20-year-old and a face of a 30-year-old. You didn't mention your 60-year-old arse. <laughs> no, John Joe. He never mentioned you at all. <laughs> Mummy, there they are now. The boys are back. Heather! Come on in, Heather! Oh, oh, so hello, Oh, welcome home, son. It's great to be back, Mummy. Oh. Did you bring us any presents? I got you loads of presents. I got you something special, Ma. Where's Edward? Oh, Edward! What is Edward doing on that suitcase? Mommy, we could only afford one ticket. Mommy, oh, Edward had to take me home in the case. Sure, I had no job. Well, I don't know what you came home here for. There's no work here either. Funny you should say that. There's a big job in Croke Park with our wee Edward. They're looking for a national referee's administrator. Key responsibilities to oversee and implement the National Referees Programme. All right, he's a gunch. How can he get a job like that? Don't, 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 don't you worry about it, Maggie. I have a plan to get Edward that job. You have a plan, Grandma? I have. Do you think it'll work? It will. Look, the closest they have for our jobs today. So let's hit the road. We continue the story as the family prepare to set off for Crow Park. Hurry up. Go. You'll be get out and give her a push. Oh, yeah, get out the push, push. Him, push him. You'll be get out now, and we'll never get to go far. Me too. Aye, you too. Push him. Right, when I say push, push, push. Ah! Get in there, Dad. I can't see where it's going. Mommy, mommy, look at that feather behind. Come on, feather. Don't stop on your feet again. Come on, feather. Gardner Sullivan drives it high in the air, on a hard and hard, it's gone over the bar. And the biggest tally in the score sheet right now belongs to the smallest man in the pitch. And speaking of small men, I'd like to say a big hello, do you spell it, it to Edward Groove? That's me, that's me. He's on the road to Crow Park for a big interview, other than Bonavoura Fall. Is that me, Hulk? Yes, Brady, it's me, Paula Mullahead the Kale. And I want to wish you, John Jones, August Edward be out the best of luck in your big interview. And remember, as you travel down along the road to Park and Trophy, we're all on the one road. The road to Tarkin Square. We're on the one road, share the one road. We're on the one road, share the one road. There's Croke Park. Right, in we go. The family make their way to the waiting area in Crow Park as Edward gets ready for his big interview. I'm very nervous. Edward, here's a wee relic to St. Jude. Who's St. Jude? He's a patron saint of hope for his case. I'm 
Don't worry, Annie. Whatever the question, just give short, sharp answers. All right, for you, Maggie. You'd be sitting there and away in the back, and I'd be out talking to these just boys. Just I don't know what they're saying. Is he not? Maggie, I don't know what he's saying. I don't know any Irish. Say something, Annie. Annie. I don't know any Irish. Chucky, I love. How did you think of that? Oh, Sorry, Maggie. Sorry, Maggie. Sorry, Maggie. Sorry, Maggie. Sorry, Maggie. Sorry, I think that means stand up. Now remember, short, sharp answers. Get in there and good luck. She, she, stand up. She, she, stand up. She, she, stand up. Amen. No. See, she's. I'm um, see, she's. Could you please sit down? No. Oh. Name? Edward. Edward who? Edward Hugh. Edward Q who? Edward Hugh Grew, and I'm five foot two. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm on the broom. On the broom? <laughs> I know what to do. What about you? How are you going along? Date of birth? 12th of July. Year? Every year. Married or single? Single. Uh, well, I was engaged to a girl one time with a big nose, but I broke it off. <laughs> I made an engagement. And my mummy says at her wedding, every time she bent down, she cut the cake. <laughs> Mr. Grew, and you're five foot two. Could you please give me one example of how you'd support referees in their most difficult of roles? That's well, not a problem. <laughs> I'll ensure better teamwork and consistency between referees and umpires. At last, a good answer. Consistency is vital within our game. When I'm refereeing, I take my team everywhere I go. Your team? Yeah, do you want to meet my team? Certainly not. Of course, you want to meet my team. Mr. Yes. Brew. <laughs> this here is my identical twin brother, Heather. What? Identical twins? Heather and Edward Grew. That's right. Heather Grew and I didn't. <laughs> and this here, this here's my sister, Maggie. This here's my mummy and daddy. Mummy's very sharp and off the ball stuff. She has eyes on her like a hawk. Like a hawk. <laughs> Mr. Goo, we don't need your mother's eyes or anybody else's eyes for that matter. The millions we're spending in Cook Park at the minute on new technology. Hey, we can stop right there, you boy. We take our own technology with us wherever we go, and it doesn't cost us millions. Mr. Groove, if you can provide us with something better than our Hawkeye system. Hawkeye? Then, yes. A ho a ho a Hawkeye? Stand back! Stand back! <laughs> What, Mr. Brew, is this? It's Misha Eagle Eye. This is the very latest in technology. Really? And what does it do? Uh, it never takes a say of the ball. Right. Do you want to see what way it works? Let me see. What do you see? Father, throw me the ball. Very clever, Mr. Groove. Very clever. Do you want to see what else it can do? I think I should what do you see. see. Mommy and Daddy, make yourselves into goals. My dear, screw me. Point. Okay. Watch this. <coughs> that was a point. Very good, Mr. Groove. Do you want Very to have a wee try yourself? I think I should try it myself just to make sure that it does everything. And it does everything, you see? Absolutely everything. Well, I tested out. That was a ah, wide. Ah, no way, no way. I'd have stayed between the posts. You should have gone to spec savers. <laughs> this machine, this machine is totally beyond human error. Beyond all human error. Totally faultless. Mr. Groot, if you can bring this piece of technology with you to Cook Park, I'll give you the job. Uh, are you telling me I've got the job? You've got the job. <laughs> When do I start? Well, I have to go and see Park Duffy here to tell him about this fantastic bit of technology. Hit machine. Hey, all managers. God save our Save the village! 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 Save the